Hello everyone, welcome to Professional Atheist. Today we are doing the part 2 of Telangana Movement Phase 2. Already part 1 of Phase 2 has been uploaded on the YouTube channel. This is a part 2 of Phase 2. Those who are watching me for the very first time, for your information, the part, the Phase 1 of Telangana Movement already we have completed. From 1956 to 1970, whatever was happened, all the events, like separation of Andhra state from Madras, merger of Andhra state with Telangana led to the emergence of United AP. And this merger happened on the basis of some agreements. We call them as gentlemen's agreement. Then we also see how the violation of gentlemen's agreement happened. Then later on we started to see the movement against this violation or discriminations. All party meeting, 8 point formula, then we have also seen 5 point formula, Indra Gandhi ji tour etc. All that has been already learnt in our phase 1 of Telangana formation. We are now in the phase 2 of Telangana formation which begins from 1970 to 1991. Already as I have told you part 1 has been completed in this particular phase 2, this is a part 2. But for a revision kind of thing, I am also revising the part 1 of phase 2 of Telangana movement. Those who are very keen and serious about the cracking of examination. So there is a mentorship program, current affairs material and Telangana material is being sold. So there is a number in the description, you can call or text to the number to connect and to take the idea of the mentorship program and definitely this is going to help you out in much better way to score high. Now in our last class we have seen this. Okay. PV Narsimha Rao was made the CM of Telangana in order to cool down the dissatisfaction of Telangana people because of the merger and the leadership. So central government has removed the Kasu Brahmanand Reddy which was a Andhraite CM and instead of Andhraid CM, they placed Narsimha Rao as a CM of United AP at that time. When Narsimha Rao came to the power, he started taking very concrete steps towards the welfare of the people. For example, the most important step that he has taken in order is to decrease the land concentration among the landlords. For that purpose, he started lot of land acts in which one is very important that is land ceiling act. Land Ceiling Act is nothing but you cannot hold land beyond certain extent. That limit will be given by the government. So because of these acts, the, within the party, there are a lot of ministers, lot of MLS were there which are having lot of land. They were angered, they were dissatisfied with the Narsimha Rao steps. That is the reason they also wanted Narsimha Rao to step down. This much you understand. Okay. Then we have seen on 1st January 1973, Mari Chana Reddy founded Telangana Separate Forum. The members of this particular Telangana Separate Telangana Forum, Jaipal Reddy, Purushottam Reddy, Chokka Rao, Sridhar, Ansari. I am only just revising and going ahead, reading and going ahead. Though those who are watching me for the very first time, there is no explanation to the revision. Already in the last class, I have covered this in detail that is also there on the YouTube. Okay, the before lesson of this lesson. So you can have the detailed explanation on it. Now I just wanted to revise it so that those who are watching me continuously, they will get another revision and an upper hand with regard to the crystallization of all the events. So 1st January 1973, Mari Chenna Reddy founded this separate Telangana foreign and following are the members. And in the same time, Jayandra movement was also happening. Jayandra movement is nothing but Andhra leaders, Andhra students, Andhra association, Andhra NGOs, they also want to separate from Telangana. Because of Mulgi rules, because of various safeguards given to Telangana, over a period of time, we were demanding a lot of things they expected like that. And they said that, no, we also want to separate. So that is the reason Jayandra movement is nothing but separation of Andhra from Telangana. Okay. So, there was a band in Andhra for the sake of separate Andhra. There was a band called for the separation of Andhra from Telangana. In that band, 
police firing happened, all the leaders condemned that police firing. This all event happened on 2nd Jan January 1973. Then 4th January 1973, Andhra Mahasena leader and Mahasena organization headed by Madala Jankiram, he also passed a resolution seeking the bifurcation of Telangana and Andhra state. Means Andhra people were also very keen and they were also working towards the separation of Andhra from Telangana. These things were happening. Okay. Then Andhra leaders, because the agitation in Andhra was getting bigger and bigger and intensified, that's why the central government called these Andhra leaders, you please come to the Delhi and let us talk about it. They went and they met to the Prime Minister and they have put two demands. One is please remove the Narsimha Rao because you know that his acts were very pro-people and he has bringing acts for the reduction of wealth of the uh, landlords. So they don't like it. So that's why the first proposal they put it that removal of Narsimha Rao. The second proposal that they have put is Mulki rules need to be replaced by any other policy but we will not accept the Mulki rules. These two demands were actually put by the Andhra leaders to the Prime Minister Indraji. Okay. Then 5th January 1973, Indraji told that, Indra Gandhi told that bifurcation is not going to solve the problem. Okay. Andhra leader drama started. In the drama, what happened? Nine Andhra ministers resigned from the Narsimara government to show the solidarity to the Jaya Andhra movement. Okay. Movement intensified. Then ultimately, it led to the resignation of Narsimha Rao. And on 17 January 1973, Narsimha Rao, P.V. Narsimha Rao resigned from his post. Okay. 18th January, as because there is no CM to lead the state, then president rule need to be imposed. So remember this point, 18th January 1973, president rule has been imposed in our state. Whenever president rule is imposed, president will administer the state with the help of what governor? Governor will appoint some advisors who help him to carry out the administration. So president rule was imposed and at the time the president was Vivigiri and the governor was Khandu by Desai. He appointed two advisors for him. One is Salin, another one is VK Rao. Salin and VK Rao. These two uh, important officers assisted governor to carry out the administration of the state. Then 21st January 1973, conference of Telangana Congress activity held a conference. Lot of Telangana leaders came and attended that particular conference. In this, this conference was presided by Mari Chenna Reddy and he has delivered the speech also here. And in this speech, he clearly told that giving Telangana is only permanent solution for this particular all nuisance, whatever is happening. Okay. Then 28 January, Janasang. Janasang is nothing but present BJP at that time was Janasang. Okay. Most of the leaders of the present BJP was a part of another political party at that time, Janasang. And at that time, Janasang was headed by Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So on 28th January, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the Janasang party has constituted a committee to look into the matters of Telangana and Andhra agitation. And after taking the sentiments, after taking the views and opinions of both the region, Janasang party committee, uh, constituted committee also recommended bifurcation of the state. Convener of this party, K.L. Gupta. Then we have members O.P. Tyagi, Subramaniam and Shajwalkar. 30th January, Acharya Kriplani recommended referendum. This is a very important point. In the examination, they will ask you who among the following has recommended referendum for the Telangana issue. Acharya Kriplani. He said that let us have a referendum. Referendum is nothing but voting from two states. Okay. In Telangana, voting will be there. How many people want separation? How many people want to be merged, uh, stay with the Andhra state? Like that, uh, voting will take place. The majority votes, uh, if gets in either of the sides, that particular decision will be implemented. That is called as referendum. Then first Bihari, Atal Bihari Vajpayee told Andhra, okay, and got the sentiment and understood that Andhra and Telangana should be separated. That is what he told. Second February, February then Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji came to Telangana and he also understood the opinions, views of the Telangana people and here also he understood that bifurcation is the only issue. That's why he said that, Vajpayee said that 
no power can stop if people of both the sides are want to divide want to be apart okay telangana andhra is rajji then kya karenge indra ji okay that is what he said 7th february telangana flag has been hoisted at warangal means to show more strength to our movement hoisting of telangana uh, flag took place at warangal district bar association this particular hoisting of flag at warangal district bar association was done by pingali govind rao okay then 16 february indira gandhi ji said that you both regions are fighting a lot from many years do you want me to resign if my resignation will solve your problem i am ready to do that so uh, prime minister indira gandhi ji has offered for his for her resignation in exchange of peace among these two regions 17th february bigger stars of telugu ntr anr has also recommended that bifurcation is the only solution 19th february both telangana and andhra region leaders and the protester has observed a strike demanding bifurcation so on the same day on the same day 19th february 1973 both in both the regions were having a indefinite strike and the strike is for the separation okay 19th february again same day sampurna telangana praja samiti call this day as betrayal day very very important which among the following day was held as a betrayal day 19th february 1973 was held as a or you can say was observed as a betrayal day and who has announced or called for this betrayal day tps okay they jana sang they may call like that so the answer for this is sampurna telangana praja samiti has called for the betrayal day on 19th february 1973 7th april formation of jay andhra front at rajamandri happened we got to lachana विश्वनाथम रत्न शताब सभापति टेन टू जुलाई हाईकोर्ट जजमेंट हेज कम हाईकोर्ट जजमेंट वॉज अगेन नॉट इन द फेवर नॉट फॉर दैप्पीनेस ऑफ दी तेलंगाना पीपल हाईकोर्ट जजमेंट सेज दैट मूल की रूल्स आर अप्लीकेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉइज बट नॉट एट द टाइम ऑफ सीनियोरिटी प्रमोशन ट्रांसफर एक्सेट्रा सो एंड सो फोर्थ दैट प्रॉब्लम हैपन लीडर्स ऑफ तेलंगाना एंड आंध्रा met again indira gandhi ji and led to the finalization of six point formula so you understand the sequence of the various events that we have learned okay very beautifully written sequence are there properly every step has been dealt in a very elegant manner so that you should understand it very clearly now six point formula as we have already learned in the last class we have revised and revised four five times i made this to revise okay first of all in the six point formula the first formula is to allocate funds for the development of what backward regions of ap this was a first point to allocate funds to develop backward regions of ap in which telangana was considered as a backward region so allocate separate funds for its development for this purpose a state level planning uh, committee will be there like that they told second one is to follow only a single policy for the st entire state in the issue of giving importance to local candidates for administration in education so one single policy should be there that policy should be applicable across the state how the local reservation can be provided to the local people in matters of what educational institution telangana local reservation rules will be different andhra local reservation rules should be different it should not be like that one single policy that deals with local candidate preferences in educational institution that has to be initiated preference to local candidates in the appointment up to a certain level up to a lower cadre level ldc okay preference should be given to the local candidates if i am from hyderabad if the ldc post are there i should be given first preference like that so preference to local candidates in appoints up to a certain level up to ldc above ldc means section officer administrative officer bigger post local preference will reduce okay here basically what happen local preference in ldc like in nizambad ldc post are 100 up to 80% local candidates of nizambad should only get the job that is called as local preference at certain level if that comes to non gazetted post again udc i higher post that became was 70% gazetted post became what 70% remember this point then 
if any em employees having any problem okay with regard to the government with regard to transfers pro uh, uh, seniority promotions etc they a specialized high powered administrative tribunal will be constituted all the employees who are having grievances with the government with regard to promotion with regard to transfer with regard to conditions of the service they can file a case in the tribunal remember this point to bring out suitable constitutional amendment in order to give effect to the six point formula constitutional amendment will be moved so that whenever there is, should be whenever there is the, the state government the andhra bias leadership if they wanted to twist or tingle anything with the six point formula they have to do it from the amendment point of view it go, will go to the parliament again parliament will scrutinize everything which is not possible so that is why constitutional status should be given to the six point formula that is what was told in this particular six point formula if the six point formula is applicable in true freight and spirit then there is no need of trc there is no need of mulki rules and they have to be abolished that was the sixth point so first point is all about first point is all about which one allocation of funds to the for the development of backward region second point is all about local preference to the local candidates in educational institution third point local preference in appointments local preference in appointments okay then fourth point is administrative tribunal fifth point is constitutional status to the six point formula sixth point is abolition of trc abolition of uh, mulki rules if this is implemented in true spirit this is what we have learnt in our last class now let us start it now again six point formula did not uh, made us very happy in six point formula everything actually what we used to get in eight point and five point formula six point formula we lost everything all the losses were already done and six point formula as the formula looks very good but it was twisted and twisted so much that it actually benefited andhra people more rather than the telangana people with the six point formula there was no change in telangana people with regard to job etc so and so forth if that is the case if this local preference should be given to the local candidate is there no in ldc if it is properly implemented then why the secretariat is having 91% andhra employees only 9% telangana employees are there because in secretariat also ldc's lower division clerk employees will work or not for lower division clerk 80% should be local reservation then how come andhra people are 91% in secretariat so just imagine a point here everything is a lip service and written service i used to hear only about lip service because that is not acknowledged okay that is not officially like someone told with the mouth is not even considered but even in writing also they have to state a lot that actually benefited andhra andhra employees andhra people but not to the telangana okay let us see this okay till six point formula achieve its results all damage were done to the telangana already okay before the six point formula can come and can execute will be executed and implemented in the telangana before that only everything was completely damaged all the deprivations we have already met in a very very severe manner hyderabad city was announced as a joint zone by the six point formula see again a important twist happened hyderabad city now considered as a free zone free zone means whatever is there in the hyderabad city whatever the posts are there in the hyderabad city whether it is land purchase or whatever is there in hyderabad city all the both telangana and andhra people have the equal rights to buy to share etc so and so forth so there is no reservation with regard to what land dealings there is no reservation with regard to employment in hyderabad city to the local people so hyderabad city was considered as a free zone non locals got opportunities in education and employment and were able to settle in hyderabad city so what happened suppose a person has been appointed in andhra person has been appointed in nizambad as a clerk or as a administrative officer when this six point formula came no the political leaders took lot of money from them and they transferred that particular people to hyderabad when the moment he come to the hyderabad hyderabad is a free zone so he cannot be removed so non local got the jobs ultimately they started settling in what hyderabad because hyderabad is considered as a free zone no one can remove them that all tactics that they have played that ultimately led to the deprivation of telangana people okay telangana regional board established 1958 abolished as per the six point formula it it said that it should be abolished it has been abolished 
regional committees were abolished the regional planning committees which were working for the development which we have learnt in the five point formula regional committee was established that was also abolished okay and for mulki rules 15 years you have to stay in telangana to be a local candidate that 15 years has been reduced to 4 years like that lot of andhra employees were working in telangana which are having the residence more than 4 years all became ultimately local and started applying for education and employment opportunities as a local candidate means 15 years local rule has become 4 years and the andhra people who are working here may have lot of people may have crossed 4 years of employment or not all of them considered themselves as a local settled in hyderabad and started applying as a local candidate for education and employment opportunities okay and their children also settled and they also got the local reservation with regard to employment and education factories like azam jahi mills alwin company functioning since nizam state nizam said has also been completely abolished or you can say that closed down and government said that they are under losses so we don't we cannot run it if suppose these factories are there in the outside of the hyderabad state okay nizam sugar factory is in bhodan when factory is a lot of employees of telangana will work or not yes so their employment also became what okay employment removed and the factories has been closed down when the factories are closing down where the telangana workers should work now okay all this media core steps all these cheap steps were taken by the andhra bayas leadership in order to deprive telangana of its own rights that was all happened okay then when regard to other industrial establishments were given to andhra investors okay high tech city development bachupali development gachibori development etc all that uh, development of industries were given to what andhra people telangana people has nothing with regard to industries at that time the jobs of the Andhra employees who got without legality by submitting a Boka certificate, the jobs of the Andhras, uh, Andhra people who got jobs in Telangana or in Hyderabad without submitting the proper legal document like Mulki certificate and got the job through Boka certificate or maybe employment, employed as a contract employee, all of them has been regularized. Okay. The protection to the lands in Telangana was removed. Now Andhra person can buy land in Telangana irrespective how much he want to buy he can buy. He bought lot of people but like Lagadapati Rajagopal, Andhra political lead, congress leader, Lanko Hills belong to him. Ramoji Rao, acres of acres of land belong to Ramoji, Andhra. Okay, like that lot of lot of lands of Hyderabad which is very 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 costly were given in, in, uh, in the price of peanuts uh, to the Andhra people for the development they did not develop but they made money okay the protection to the lands in telangana was removed all these resulted in telangana people becoming employed over a period of time the telangana region was subjected to discrimination in the establishment of junior colleges degree colleges and universities so if you see the six point formula it has done no good to us it has done all bad only but still six point formula was given an effect Okay, presidential order was there with regard to 6.4. To implement 6 point formula, government in the 6 point formula, government uh, wrote no constitutionalization of 6 point formula. Yes, that happened. 34th constitutional amendment was bought out by the central government. 34th constitutional amendment to give effect to what? 6 point formula. When it was passed, amendment was passed, then president has to assent or not? Yes, president assented. And that is called as PO, Presidential Order 524, was issued on 8th October 1975. Okay, this Presidential Order of 18th October 1975 has nullified every previous uh, steps taken towards the normalization. Every geo, every point formula, 8 point or 5 point, all has been nullified only with the help of PO. 6 point formula was given the effect and 6 point formula should only run. Okay. The post in different regions were divided into local cadre or zone. According to the presidential order, the post in different regions are divided into local cadres or zone. So in that way, if you have ever applied for the government jobs in Telangana okay, or in United AB, four zones were there in Andhra state and two zones were there in 
Telangana state with Hyderabad as a free zone they used to mention in the notification also okay so local cadre zonal system has been introduced by this particular six point formula or you can say that presidential order okay an administrative tribunal as six in six point formula government said no the administrative tribunal will be established that was established administrative tribunal was established to decide disputes in appointment and promotion if you are not happy with the decision of administrative tribunal you can go to supreme court supreme court has all rights under the under its jurisdiction with regard to any judgment delivered across the country so if you are not happy with the administrative tribunal decision you can go to supreme court and here here if at all administrative tribunal has given a judgment in the favor of andhra or in the favor of telangana the state government can accept that particular judgment can reject that particular judgment that kind of uh, mischievous provisions were inserted in this particular presidential order by the bias andhra leadership so any judgment given by the uh, administrative tribunal it is properly written that the state government can reject and accept that particular tribunal's order and state government no need to submit to the state legislature also when you go to the legislature what will happen you will become accountable you have to answer for your decisions okay but what they have done in the presidential order they tweeted they twisted in such a way that okay any decision taken by the government with regard to state administrative tribunal orders will not be debated in the state legislature you can see that how in how narrow path that they have created to escape from accountability okay the youth of telangana region did not gain anything after the establishment of central university in the presidential order one central university to be established was written but what is the use of central universities central universities are national universities there won't be any quota reservation in central universities so we did not get any benefit from establishment of central universities anybody from any other state is coming and applying for it so what is the use of a central university it just have a namesake they are going to establish the state government in order to give effect to the po fire uh, in a presidential order state government issued government order 674 go 674 so they may ask you in the examination go 674 was issued on to give effect to to give effect to presidential order remember this point or to give effect to six point formula like that also you can say like this also you can say so i guess this is all clear to you okay 34th amendment constitutionalization of six point formula happened okay then president issued presidential order on 8th october 1975 then all the regions in andhra pradesh united andhra pradesh will be divided into what zonal system four zones are given to andhra two zones are given to telangana administrative bill has been established state government is supreme here okay when telangana uh, central university was established no help to telangana people and to give effect to presidential order the government telangana government issued go 674 on 20th october 1975 two days after 18th october 20th october two days after government issued go also okay some important facts were given after the all these were happening educational deprivations etc telangana government at that time uh, not telangana government united ap government at that time actually took some interest to establish some universities in both the regions so years of the uh, universities are important especially of telangana 1976 kakatiya university was established in telangana very very important nagarjuna university was established in guntur 1978 sri krishna devaraya university was established in anantapur here i will mention in the comment no need to worry 1983 padmavati mahi mahila university was established in tirupati sanskrit university was established in 1985 in tirupati 1986 ntr health university was established at vijayawada 1997 dravidian university was established so you can see that andhra in andhra state 1 2 3 4 5 6 universities was established in telangana only one universities at that point of time was established big deprivation in education then in hyderabad agriculture university was established which is of no use because hyderabad is a free zone does we do not have any kind of reservation there dr b r ambedkar university was established in 1982 again in hyderabad again hyderabad is a free zone not used to us eflu was established in 1962 again 
Foreign Language Institute. It is also in Hyderabad. Hyderabad is a free zone. Andhra and Telangana, both uh, region people can take the admission from this university. Central University of no use as we have already learned because across the nation anybody can apply. Telugu University was established in 1985. So, so you just see that one university is specially dedicated to Telangana. Second university is specially dedicated to Telangana. So almost around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six universities was there in Andhra and Royal Sima. And three universities, four universities in, in Hyderabad. So just imagine that how better they have played and how better they have behaved like an imposter and deceiver to us and took our all education. Okay, just imagine a point. Do you want to go to Andhra and do and study in the university? You will not go. Telangana people going to Andhra is not possible at all because we are having a very urban lifestyle. We live a very sophisticated life here. Good roads, everything is very, very good. So we from the city, from the, our urban areas will not migrate to Andhra region until and unless you don't give us a lot of money. That too for the job only. But leaving is not possible for us there. Okay. This is what. So just imagine how the deprivation happened. Six universities only for Andhra people. Obviously, we will not go and apply there. And four universities in Hyderabad. Obviously, that is free zone. Andhra people can apply. We can apply. One in central university. Anybody can apply. So basically, out of 10 to 12 universities, only two universities specially dedicated to what? Telangana. Very, very okay. disheartening fact. Now, let us see some provisions of PO. As PO says that the Andhra Pradesh, United AP should be divided into six zones for employment. As I have told you already, four zones in Andhra, two zones in Telangana. Okay. The lower division club post in the government offices belong to, should belong to the students or uh, people who are in the local area. Lower division clerk post in all the districts should belong to that particular local cadre people only 80 percent reservation if in nizamabad if like we are in the zone 5 and 6 at that time okay zone 1 2 3 4 belongs to andhra and royal sima 5, 5 and 6 zones belongs to what telangana region so five districts in uh, zone 5 six districts in uh, zone 6 like that we had at that time i'm not very sure about it but we are having two zones of five five districts like that you understand like that so in one zone, if the LDC posts for 500, okay, 90, 80% uh, should be given to that zone people only. No other district people can apply for it and we will not give also, even though they apply also. Okay, that kind of system was there. The lower division clerk in the government offices and the establishment in the districts belong to the district level cadre. Each district, a local area, is a local area for the appointment of LDCs. The higher post, more than LDCs, then we will call them as zonal cadre because uh, gazetted officers like MROs, DSPs, etc. Okay, group 1, group 2 officers, group 3 officers will not be many, right? So that's why you cannot have district wise uh, vacancies will not be there. Very uh, big officers so generally have the power or jurisdiction over a larger area. So that's why the post above LDC are called as zonal cadres. Called as what? Zonal cadres. Okay, belong to zonal cadres. For the appointments of to these higher posts, each zone becomes a local area. Suppose 10 DSP posts are there, 5 DSP posts to 5th zone, 5 DSP posts to 6th zone. And anybody, all the district uh, students will compete for that 5 posts. Here also all the district uh, um, students will compete. So that is a zonal post. Above LDC is zonal post. Okay. They were called, suppose if there are, if the, if, through the government order, government can, can provide zonal level cadre for more than one zone okay like five and six zones together one post is there okay one two three zones together one post is there that is called as multi-zone cadre in this what will happen the post will be very very big okay like gazetted post like ias post like almost like sub collector post like that so in this particular bigger post okay multi-zone government will declare by the government order as a multi-zone cadre it means what all who uh, whoever the zones are there in that they the people of that particular region only should apply okay now presidential order does not apply to the establishment and offices like state secretariat state level special offices and police department so as because these three are excluded from the any kind of local reservation 
Telangana people has been completely deprived in secretariat. Only 91% of Andhra people were there. 9% only Telangana because presidential order does not include secretarial jobs, lower cadre jobs. Okay, reservation. Along with that, special offices established by the Andhra Pradesh government and along with that police department. If you see police department also, today also if you see, if they ask you, if you ask you the origin of the any circle inspector, basically circle inspector because we got Telangana, no? just if you are uh, having any circle inspector beside you, ask them, sir, where are you, what is your nativity? He will tell Andhra only or she will tell Andhra only. Okay. Now the SIs are of Telangana only because state separated. Just ask because why I am saying CI means the CIs uh, when they were SIs in uh, AP government now they became CI. So all of the CIs cadre and above them or all of them are many of 90% will be from Andhra only and their children settled here and became local. Okay. Now some departments in Hyderabad was declared as department in free zone which caused again dissatisfaction. Government again with the help of GEO tweeted, tweeted, twisted, modified lot of things in order to deprive Telangana of their own rights of education and employment. Here what they have done, some departments within the Telangana were declared as a free zone department. See, the remaining post in the local category. Suppose in local category, 80% should be given to local people. 20% should be actually open, for, uh, should be given for open category. Okay, 80% like in Nizambad, 100 clerk LDC posts are there. Let us suppose in Nizambad, 100 LDC posts are there. 80% of the post, 80 people should come from Nizambad only. 20 people should be open category. Means Nizambad people can contest, Karnul people can also um, um, uh, uh, what, write the exam. Everybody can write the exam. 20 people should be from open category. But they have misinterpreted this one. And Andhra leadership considered this open category as a non-local category. So wherever... 80% is there, 20% they, they appointed only Andhra people. So open category was misinterpreted as non-local category and the jobs were given like that. Some of the district level categories were changed as zonal level categories and the reservation of 80% to the local categories reduced to 70%. For gazetted posts, 70% reservation was there. For non-gazetted posts, 80% local reservation was there. Okay, for lower, for lower division clerk, lower cadre, 80%. For upper cadre, 70% reservation. So what they have done is some low, uh, lower cadre positions are there. No? They have upgraded to upper cadre position by the government. That's how we lose what? Percentage of reservation. Okay. The non-gazetted cadre, cadres were upgraded to zonal level cadres. Okay. And 70% even became what? 60%. All this they have done. So when the moment, because in the presidential order it is written, lower cadre, 80% reservation. Okay. Then non-gazetted 70% reservation, gazetted 60% local reservation. So when you change local cadre to gazetted, uh, non-gazetted, non-gazetted to gazetted, what is happening? The percentage of reservation is decreasing. So government with the help of GEO try to do, upgraded this particular um, cadre positions and uh, uh, decrease the percentage of local appointments. That is how they have deprived us. Although there were rules for following the equality principle for the appointments to the state secretariat and the state level offices, okay, there was no representation of Telangana youth in this post. Okay, if you see at that time the HOD post, electricity department, HOD, all the higher posts at that time, there was no Telangana sitting on that higher post. Though 6 point formula talks about equality in promotion etc. so and so forth, but actually it did not happen. There were transfer from Andhra region to the Telangana region because the opportunity is created by presidential order. Many non-local settled in Hyderabad and started getting employment in Telangana region. This was the main reason for the dissatisfaction among the Telangana youth and has led to lot of anger against the government. Okay, right. So this is all about uh, presidential order. I will go ahead with more important uh, series of uh, uh, like events what uh, in the second phase of Telangana moment have a nice day bye bye take care